Good afternoon. It's always good to watch our team win uh, in a football game. And uh, we won last night. Now, I was sitting in my chair watching Alabama play New Mexico State and really just waiting for ULM to play Florida State because I have grandchildren at both schools. And I don't know which one to cheer for this afternoon. But I, I, I was thinking about a passage of Scripture. It's found in 2 Corinthians 2, beginning in verse 14. And it reads, Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ, and makes manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ in them that are saved and in them that perish. I thought to myself, I discovered a long time ago, I always win in Christ. There's not a point of losing, not in Christ. He always causes his children to win. Now, I don't always win, but that's not God's fault. That's mine. But when we're controlled by the Spirit of God and we have come to know Christ personally in our heart, wherever we go, we have the fragrance of Christ about our life. Or we should. Because that's what God intends us to do, to be a fragrance, a, a reflection of his love and of his life to those around us, those that are saved and to those, as the scripture says, that perish, that have never come to know Jesus. And uh, I just want to encourage you this afternoon, if you're watching football, to ponder just a little bit about the fact that Jesus Christ makes a person a winner in life and in death because he overcame death paid the penalty for our sin and offers us a triumphant life and a, a home in heaven and it only comes as we turn our life over to Jesus and ask him to come into our heart take control of our life and help us to live victoriously in this life and also give us that hope of heaven in the future. I always want to be a winner. I always want my team to win. And I cheer for West Monroe. <laughs> and I cheer for the teams of my grandchildren. And my it's always that's the way it is. Just remember Second Corinthians chapter two, verses fourteen through fifteen. You have a great day. This is a message from the cross today. Go Rebels.